could have done this terrible act. I am concerned. Your Highness, nobody can tell when the fire outbreak started. How could such a thing happen on just when my father is, ab is around the corner? No. Eh? It is not a good omen at all. He went. Now that the markets have got bought, how do I train my children? How do I, how do I feed my children if I'm here to return to a If I am finished. <laughs> Alright, women, you take it easy. Take it easy. I am made to understand that the district commissioner is capable of rebuilding this market. I will go and see him face to face. Eh? So please, take it easy. You will do no such thing. Yes. You will that? do no such thing. I mean. I quite appreciate your kindness, and wouldn't want to question your devotion and respect. But you are just a mere ceremonial paramount head of this village. Shut up, Wadimba! Shut up! Address him as his royal highness. Yes! The Igwe Kamba the sixth. Igwe Nyama. Wabeza. That's right. Do you hear that? All right. Uh, my greatest uh, respect to you, your highness. But I would want you to know that that is my job. I will see the district commissioner myself. Look, the people of Amumara are my subjects. Yes. And I have the responsibility for their every need. Yes. Yes. Your ceremonial title limits you to certain mm. positions and privileges. Mm. Meeting with the district commissioner is my job. I mean, it is my responsibility as the democratically elected the council of the entire Amumara community. Hmm? It is my job. A position you got by hook and crook. Yes. Yes. Huh? yes. I respect you a lot, Your Highness. But if you are not pleased with the political mandate given to me by the entire Amumara community, hmm. Maybe you will have to contest in the forthcoming elections. Adumba, Adumba, look, let me tell you, the colonial masters may fool us, but certainly not you, Adumba. Yes. You cannot trivialize our age-long tradition. No way. No way. And I intend to fight you every inch of the way. Let's go. Let's go. This is a new political era. A new political dispensation. Our people. My people will decide. Unoka. Meeting with the district commissioners, is it the responsibility of the traditional it's not, a, it's not a traditional matter. <laughs> if you go and consult the ancestors. I know. My people, please come. Thank you. Please come to the come along. Come. Don't worry. Come to the Don't worry. I received the sad news of this burnt market with heavy heart. I am fully aware of the importance of this market. I want you to take heart. Take heart, my good people. Take out because the United People's Party, my party, have agreed with the district commissioners to rebuild this market. They are going to replace it with an ultra more than one. <laughs> Taking into cognizance the economic implications of what has happened. And we've agreed that we will have to make some consolatory payments as compensation to all the victims affected. Yeah. It will not stop there. Soon, very soon.
soon. Schools, hospitals, and good roads will be brought to this community by the party through me. And there's one thing you will have to do. We must not relent in making sure that we remain in power by voting UPP in all forthcoming elections. UPP! Power! UPP! Power! UPP! Power! Thank you very much. No worries. The we will rebuild. We will rebuild. I heard your cry. Can you imagine what Dimba humiliating me before my people? Calling me a ceremonial head that is only good for appeasing the gods. Am I now an oracle priest? Calm down, your highness. Calm down. Take it easy. Perhaps you may wish to have a meeting with Odimba. It is beneath my royal attention. Look, I could have dealt with him, if not the protection he enjoys from the justice commissioner. Then let's leave everything to the gods to descend upon him. I have no interest in the procrastination of the gods. Huh? Look, the only way to clip Odimba's wings is to take that power from him. How then do you intend to achieve this, Your Highness? We must make sure that he loses the next election. Commissioner fully sympathizes with the entire constituency over the market fire disaster. He prays that you use the money that has been given to you towards rebuilding the entire bond market. All right, um, let me tell you this. My constituents love and trust me. They have never had such a confidence in any leader before. The district commissioner must know this. I am the people's child. <laughs> yes, he is. Well, that is interesting, uh, Chief. I think the district commissioner would like to know that he has someone who can hold the entire community together. And that person is you, Chief. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> tell the district commissioner that I will never disappoint him. Ah, no, no, we'll tell him. Yes, at this point, we we'll want to take it. Oh, oh, that's great. Thank you very much. Yes. My regards to the DC. Okay. Tell him I'll see him soon. Okay. Thank you. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Chief. Yes, sir. Chief. Uh, this is good news. Yes. This is good news. The villagers will be amazed yes. when you start rebuilding the market. <laughs> uh, Unoka. I didn't get into this to become a blind servant to my people. I will only share one-tenth of this money to few victims. <laughs> this is politics. <laughs> Chief, what of those that wouldn't get? Won't they revolt? I will simply tell them to put down their names on the list and exercise patience. Yeah. Uh, 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 good day, sir. Good day, son. Uh, you may leave now. Mm. Okay, Chief. Okay. Yes. Ah, oh, good. Mm. So, good day, yeah, welcome back. Sit down. Sit down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, you went too far this time. I only asked you to burn few stores, not the entire market. <laughs> what difference does it make? The district officer just sent some money for repairs. I just saw his men leaving. You must keep your mouth shut about this. 
the political power in this our constituency will remain with us. I am with you, sir. <laughs> power to the people. Power is sweet to us. <laughs> <laughs> sad and gloomy. Your presence here alone is enough reason to make me sad. Doka, don't talk like this, Doka. My presence should bring satisfaction into your life. Gozie, don't you have any other better thing to do with your time other than come here to clown around? What other better thing could there be than spending my whole time with you? Tell me. Look, you really have to leave now because I wouldn't want my mother to come and meet you here. In fact, I want her to come and meet me now. I think it's about time I make her know my good intentions towards her daughter. I want to marry her, you know? Hmm. You really have nerves, you know. Hello, Doka. How are you? Hey, Asuka. You're welcome. Yeah, I have a message for you. Uh -huh. From who? It's from Obinda. Where is it? He says she come with me immediately. Okay, I'm just... I tell Obinda she's busy. And what is that supposed to mean? How many times will I warn you against that boy? Because he... You are the one I should keep away from, okay? Doc, are you coming? Can't you see she's talking to me? I wasn't addressing you. Hey, you now! Leave! My friend, I said... Leave now! Okay. I think you should be the one to leave this house right now because I have had enough of your tyranny. Rubbish. Oh. It's only you in this village. Why is it turning me crazy? I said, you're the only girl in this village. It's making Let's my heart go. palpitate, Udoka. Udoka! Udoka, come back here! to the mother.
my father wine and dines with powerful men. Yes, even white. He's known to all the district officers. Yet, my influence is not enough to win Doka's love. Perhaps we have to cripple Obina. I am sure Doka wouldn't want to marry a cripple. I think the best thing to do is to make him go blind. Yes! That's no, it. no, <laughs> not yet. Huh? He's still basking in the glory of his father, the Igwe. His father is a male figurehead. Your father has the real political power. Udoka is yours. There's no doubt about that. Only that you don't want to exact your authority. Oh. Because oh. the Obina might be the Igwe son. But that is not good enough for him to win Udoka. <laughs> I have to prove it to Doka that my family holds the ace in this village. What are we saying? I will strike fear in the heart of everybody that recognizes me. Yeah. Yes. Maybe then Doka would know that Obina is beneath me. Exactly. What okay. are we waiting, waiting for? for? Father, allow Odimba to humiliate him before the people. Mother, the counselorship position has gotten into Odimba's head. Mm -hmm. Then something must be done to stop him before he goes about assuming powers that does not belong to him. Already he's going about sharing money as compensation for the bond market. Who does he account to? Odimba is arrogating so much powers to himself, mother, because he has the backing of the district officer. Period. So, something cannot be done to stop it. Oh, you don't worry, mother. Something will be done to stop it. Just watch. Hmm. These oranges are getting... I don't know what happened. The last one, instead of one, there was... Ochoa, good afternoon. Good afternoon, my son. Are you ready? I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay. Mother. We we'll see when we come back. Have this. Yeah. That's good. Let me put this. Don't worry, no problem. Okay. Bye bye, my son. Mm -hmm. This village. I am in control. 
And nobody, I repeat, nobody, they point your finger to where I stand. Oh, 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 Bina, that's not this thing now. Please, can, can you take us there? Yes. yes. Let us go. this to you? No. It was his gang. Ago. Uh -huh. Agada. And Amadi. <coughs> they said... Uh, they said what? Uh, he, they, they said... Next time someone sends me to Doka. That I should not carry it out. Especially from you, Obinda. <laughs> Gozier has just touched the tail of the tiger. Mm. It's time for him to know if the tiger is dead or just sleeping. Obinda, it's okay, it's okay. What do we do now? Let's take him home. Let's go. Ah! Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Oh, oh, man. Ah! Obinda. Yes, he has just called for war. <laughs> and war he will get! Ah, okay. Sorry, okay. Get to my house. I told him. I told him. What did you see? Hoping now and his men are on their way to your father's house. Good. Did you do as I said exactly? Just as planned. Just as planned. Everything is working just as planned. Just as planned. <laughs> the is, the district police should be waiting for them by now. Yes! <laughs> Just like my father said, politics is a game of intelligence. And Obina certainly doesn't have it! <laughs> now, I'll disgrace him publicly! Let me call you for a for celebration! I want to come down from the back end. You'll be disgraced publicly! I'll answer it!
Igwe. Your son of Bina has been arrested by the district policeman. What did you just say? He has been taken away to the district headquarters. So. What was his offense? They said that he and his friends are disturbing the peace, causing havoc. How dare they lay hands on my son? Don't they know who he is? I think Odimba's hand is in it. Who else would bring district policemen into this village if not Odimba? Maybe I will meet him with some members of the council. No. The power Odimba wields in this village must be removed from him at all costs. Must I beg someone who is supposed to be my subject to secure the release of my son? Huh? It's for the time being. When the election is conducted, we must make sure that our candidate wins. I want my son released. Odemba is too small a fish for me to fry. My son Obina must contest against him. But remember, Obina must first of all win the youth council election. That is the more reason I want him released immediately. Go away with the food. Sir, please. Please, let me just give Obina this food. You know he has not eaten anything since he came in here. Please, sir. I said go away with the food before I arrest you now. Sir, please, I'm begging you now. Let me just give him this small food to you. What is the problem? Sorry, sir. I, I brought this food for Obina. He has not eaten anything since they brought him here. So please, let me just give him this small food. All right. You can go and see him. But no one is to be given any food until the district officer gives the order. Do you hear me? Hey, bring out the one they call Obina there. Yes, sir. Obina, come out. Out. Sorry. Give me the food. Where is himself? All right, you can go back. There's no reason for you to cry. You know why? I did nothing wrong. What about the pains of knowing that you have been locked up here in a place like this? Do you have to fight anyone? U U Udo, I didn't fight anyone who didn't deserve it. Okay? Just walk away and just let sleeping dogs slide. Sleeping dogs slide? Go and see what they did to Azuka. Obina, you're not like them. Obina, you are different. I mean, do you think I like coming in here to be shouted at by this man? Oh, no, no, you like being locked up here and being called a vagabond in the village? Obina, please. Oh, Udoka, they can say whatever they like. I don't care. But don't forget who my father is. Listen, in no time, I will be out of this place. Obina, when will all this stop? We will all this stop. Everything will be all right. But this is my fight. Obina, do you have to fight? I, I promise you, everything is going to be all right. You don't have to fight anyone, Obina. It's okay. It's okay. It's not okay. You I'll be all right. Fight. Just go home. I'll be okay, right? Obina, you it's don't all have right. to fight. Sometimes you just walk away from it's trouble. It's all right. right. Okay, I'll be okay, right? Take just go away. home, right? Maybe you don't have right. to fight. I'll be okay. Take him back. Oh yeah. Go. Go. Of course it is, Udoka. 
You mean so much to me, and, and I have to know where you go. Gozi, I don't have anything to say to you. Udoka, look, look at you, Doka. Just look at you. Don't you think you deserve more than this? You deserve more than carrying food to an ordinary criminal. Look at you. Look at who is talking. But who is the criminal? Who is the criminal? Is it you that nearly murdered Azuka? Or is it Abuna that has sworn to fight your tyranny and that of your godless gang? Uh, did, did Azuka tell you that I, I touched him? Or did anybody else say that they saw me beating your Azuka? What difference does he make? Whether you beat Azuka or whether you send someone to beat Azuka, what difference does it make? The difference it makes is that you should know the truth before you judge people. Cousin, as far as the truth is concerned, you are very far from it. Hmm? Look, my father has done, I mean, he has worked so hard to bring development into this village. I am equally working hard, I mean, to bring the youth, mobilize them and get them focused. But Obin and his father have said no to that. They have sworn to make sure that this village is backward forever. And that is why I'm standing up to them. <laughs> that is why I have to stand up to them. Look at you. Do you have to stand up to them by creating havoc and causing chaos in this community? Oh, Doka, oh, Doka. It is Obina that is causing havoc in this village. And that is why the police have arrested him. Because yeah, all I have to say to you is this. Keep away from me. Did you hear me? Okay. Someday. Someday. Adimba. Igwe would like you to understand that Webina is eldest son. And that it gives him sleepless night, knowing that his son is locked in a police cell. I do not have a hand in Igwe's son being locked away. Of course. <clears throat> Your Highness is not saying that you have a hand in it. But uh, you understand the ways of the district officer better. Oh. It is not within my power to influence uh, the district officers. Perhaps Igwe should go and try himself. After all, he is the Igwe. He can lose yes. his son. He is the Igwe. And you are Igwe as well. Your entire kindred respect him. And your ancestors recognize that throne. All right, I will secure the release of Obinna, Igwe's son, on one condition. Condition? What condition? that the Igwe will not sponsor anyone against me in any election. He should also join the People's uh, Party, my party, you people. You people. The winning party. Winning party. <laughs> join your party. Let him join us, join us and see the light. Igwe cannot be blackmailed into such an agreement. At all. At all. At all. Ah. Ah, is Look, Oh, you know there is somebody more important than the Igwe in the office of the district office. Uh, let him go and release his son. Uh, that's my final position. Oh, not my son. Oh, what is happening to my son now? Eh? What is happening to him? Mama, it's okay. <laughs> Nothing will happen to Obina. Are you sure I'm okay? Nothing will happen to Obina. Ada is right, Mama. <laughs> Nothing will happen to my brother. <laughs> I'm sure that father will do anything. Anything to bring him out of that. Your father doesn't seem to care. He's not. How dare he stand the horrors and he was so... Nothing about it. Mama, Papa is doing something. I want my son back. I want my son back. Oh. <laughs> 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 I 
can't believe it. Do, do you know she still carries food to that tyrant in cell? Who does she think she is anyway? I think she's being deceived by the fact that Obina is the Igwe's son. Oh, no, 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 no. If it's all about power, then my father has more power, the real power in this village, then not the Igwe. Because prove it. Prove it to her. Make her understand that your father has the power. I think Obina needs to be disgraced and humiliated before everybody in this village. Perhaps that way she will come to realize that the man she's craving for is a nobody after all. A nobody. Obina is a nobody. Hi. Uh, not of this Obina and his problems. Uh -huh. Do you know that black girl that I went for the other time? Uh, the one, the whole uh, member of the family chased you that night? No, no the one from the neighboring village. Do you know that Chukudi is going after that girl? Chukudi? I will deal with him in this village. It's, no, it's okay. It's okay. Chukudi is a no case. It. My great people of uh, Amumara, I greet you all. Thank you. Wow. Wow. I feel your pains and your anger. Oh, yes. Any case that reaches the hands of the district commissioner becomes a top one. That I know. But I, Councillor Obimba, promise you the release of all those who were locked up, including the Igwe son no. and your son. Hey. I am not doing this because I am Councillor Ovimba. No! But I am doing this to show you people how important you all are. Mm -hmm. And how relevant I am to the people. Mm -hmm. It is also to show you people the strength and how vital the United People's Party is. When you are market burnt down, I am market. I did promise you that in no distant time, that uh, we will rebuild the market. Though the market has not been rebuilt, didn't I ask people to go from house to house and make some payments? Pay people some money as compensation while we wait for the market to be rebuilt, didn't I? Yes. <laughs> but I did not get my own money. Huh? I did not get my own money. Wait, you did not? Yes. My God. What must have happened? Well, uh, after this meeting, you see me, all right? Okay. okay. Good. Today, another feat of this party, United People's Party, our party, your party, will be demonstrated as I will move and return with all those who were arrested, including the Igwe son and your sons. To make them know that you people I have to show my people that I am actually what is what you're supposed to do, Council.
these are the prisoners. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'll see you later. Okay? Let us go. Move, move. White man through the district officer has eroded the power of the throne of our fathers. But father, can't we be more relevant in this community? That is exactly my point. That is why we must remove Ademba in the coming election. You must lead the youth council. You must defeat Gozier in the next youth election. So that the entire village will see that if his son can be defeated, Odemba himself too can be defeated. I will do it, Father. I look forward to seeing Gozier and his father fall. And they must fall. Yes, they must fall. Yes, Father. special to me and I always want to see you here I have this for you I bought it for you Gozi I have told you this before that I am not interested in you, neither am I interested in your gift. So please, leave me alone. Ella, I'll see you people later. Udoka, Udoka, Udoka. Oh, what do you want? Why can't you just leave me alone? Udoka. Am I the only girl in this village? Look, there are other girls, Udoka. But there's only one Udoka. You're the only one my heart truly desires. Can't you see, Udoka? Can't you see? Look, you are wasting your time because I am not interested. Doka, have you ever wondered why, why I love you so much? All I'm asking is that you give me the chance. Give me the chance to prove it. Listen, you don't have to prove anything. Because Obina and I are already engaged. What? You're not serious. I am very, very serious. So, go out there. Look for someone else to profess your love to because I and Obina are getting married very soon. <laughs> Love, my dear. Love is not by force.
much nonsense. Gozie, you don't have to look worried. She may be joking. Joke? What kind of joke is that? Look, I don't want to accept that kind of joke. How could Udoka, a girl I am in love with, a girl I cherish, be engaged to that clown called Obina? Who is Obina Gozie, this town? Gozie. Who is Obina this town? Gozie, maybe she just said that to discourage you and probably test your love for her. Yes. Gozie, I think you should take her serious. How do you mean? Just announce to the entire village your intention to marry Udoka. By that, she will know that you're really serious. But, but I'm not a town crier. Eh? Look, I, I will need an occasion, a perfect avenue to announce, I mean, declare my love publicly for Udoka. I do. Then why don't we create such an occasion? Yes, I think I have a plan. Why don't we mobilize all the youths in this village to cut palm trees, fetch water, fetch firewood, repair all their leaking roofs for all the widows in this village. With that, you can pass the message to the whole entire village. God! That's a perfect occasion. Then the entire village will be in support of us. Then Udoka will be all yours. <laughs> you are a genius. You are a genius. <laughs> evil genius. Hey, look at that. Let's not believe the power before before this guy is caught. We the youth are the future of tomorrow and the future of our community. But what future do we have? And we have no consideration for our, our mothers, for our aunties, and for our sisters who are with us amongst us. We wake up, we eat, we drink, and we carry on with our lives as if they don't exist. I challenge you fellow youths today, Let's rise up to our responsibilities and help these widows. Let's give them a new life. Let's better their lives. UBB! Power to the people! UBB! Power to the people! UBB! Power to the people! And I'll use this opportunity to announce my engagement to one of the widow's daughters, Uduka. I'm going to marry Doka in front of the entire village, and it will be well celebrated. <laughs> you be be power to the people. 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 Where to get from? Where to do what? Go to the stream now. I wonder what he has to say this time. God, I hate that boy. Gozi. <laughs> that boy is indeed a bone to your neck. Why? I hate you so much. Right? Uh -huh. Stay with me now. Uh -uh. Once we go to the stream together, I thought you said we were going to go. Well, no, let her leave me now. Not now. Okay, now. All right, bye bye. Later. We broke her. Hey, you bring me your clock. Off! What do you think you're doing? What is it? Have you lost your senses? What is wrong? To hell with your childish pretenses! What stupid game is going on between you and Gozi? I'm not having anything with Gozi. And he keeps coming for you? Udo, do you know how many times I've seen both of you talking? Obina, I am not having anything with Gozi. He keeps coming after me. He keeps running around me. And... Udo, are you having an affair with Gozi? No, 
And, and I'm ready to swear by it. Then why did he proclaim before the entire village that he's in love with you and will soon marry you? Why? Tell me, Udoka! I'm now on the floor. <laughs> you started screaming. <laughs> <laughs> what did she say? Ah, uh, Ego. Ego, come here. He said you should come here. Ego. Ego, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I'm just going to pass here again. I'm going to pass here again. I am sick and tired of this stupid attitude. I mean, don't ever give me the last impression that I could ever get married, married to a cheat like you. If that thing you did at the village square was a joke, because it leaves me the very first and the last time you ever tried. Don't you try it again! Huh? Huh? Is it a crime to love someone? Is it a crime to show someone your true feelings? Because yeah, to hell with your stupid love, to hell with your stupid affections, I don't need it. Leave me alone. I have told you, leave me alone now. Do you know who you're talking to? Who is he? Who is he? If he's a god to you, he's a nobody to me. No? Mm -hmm. Idiot. Kose, Kose, I go. Kose, Kose. It's my fight. Kose, it's, it's high time we put a stop to all this nonsense. Oh. I get it too much now. What? It's not too much. The Lord's in this village. <laughs> anyway, um, when I entered the <laughs> the guest house. <laughs> oh dear. You've been like this all day. Why torture yourself because of Udoka? She does not know what is good for her. I mean, it, it's not your fault. But how can she prefer Obina to me? How, how could she refuse my ever genuine, undying love for Obina? Who is Obina anyway? Because I think Obina has turned out. Oh, God. I love Udoka. I think about Udoka every time. I dream of her every time I close my eyes. My mind will know no rest until she's mine. That's why I jump from one girl to another to avoid heartbreak. But the question is, will she ever be mine? Your Highness, Your Highness, yes, we have bad news. What happened? It is about the proposed hospital, which is supposed to have been built near the plantation. Uh, the project will soon take place. Uh, what about it? But the project has already taken place, but not at the proposed site. No project takes place in this community without my consent. But it's already taking place, Your Highness. What did you say, Nduka? The new site is now Amasilin Farm. Cutting across a piece of land you want no person should step into. Who is doing this? The district officer? The man behind it is Odimba. Odimba! Odimba again. How dare he? Your Highness, something must be done at all costs to checkmate the authority Odimba wields. Yes, it's getting too much. Mr. Edika, you will go and find out what is going on and bring me the details at once. All of you, go. Your Highness. Father, I hate 
heard what the elder said. Will you allow that to happen? I will see the district commissioner soon. No, father. I have a better plan. Tradition. With all due respect, we are here to arrest your son, Obina. 
What has he done? You, you walk into my palace. You stand before me and ask to take my son away. Don't you have any respect? The law respects no one, your highness. We are all equal before the law. We would like to take your son, Obina. No! That! Chase this man out of this compound! Stop! Stop! That will not be necessary. It's me you want. Here I am. Obi, don't talk like that! No, mother, don't worry, I can handle this. Obi. Young man, we are placing you under arrest for assault, obstruction of government projects, and disturbing the peace of this land. Lies! It just goes there, they cancel us on and his dogs who attacked us first. They attacked you us! We have all that to explain at the district police station. Man, take him away. No, 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 stop, don't worry. Father, I can handle this. Let's go. How are you? Do you care? Do you really care? Of course I do. Why do you talk like that, Odoka? Wina, I don't think you do. Because if you did, you wouldn't have landed yourself here again. Are you criticizing me now? You should be supporting me. Not when all you do is fight all over the village. Landing yourself in jail. As if you are the only young man in this community. Udoka. What I do, I do for everyone in this community. The tyranny and corrupt practices of Chief Odimba and his son Gozi must stop. Obina, must you become evil? Simply because you feel you are fighting another evil? Can't you just walk away from trouble for once? No, 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 Udoka. My father wasn't raised that way. And I will not become a coward for anyone. You mustn't fight. Obina, you must not fight. Time changes everything. This is the time for that change. And I will fight it any way I can. Udoka. That's who I am. And that's who you must accept me for. Obina. Do you mean you cannot change for me? No. You mean you cannot even be a little bit more tolerant for my sake? No matter how hard it is? Udoka, you, you misunderstood the point. Kupina, you hurt me. You hurt me so bad. Each time I see you, I see you on this place. All I ask from you is just a little favor. Just stay away from trouble any time you can. Please. Odoka, I fight a battle for justice. It's either you are with me all without me.
gonna wait. I'm gonna wait, wait! I need to talk to you. What about? It's about your friend. I need you to help me talk to her. I don't understand. You see, I'm in love with your friend. I love her so much and I'm... I'm sure you already know this. See, I, I have tried all I can. But it seems everything I try to do is not good enough. The more I try, the more offended she becomes. Why? What have I done? You don't expect Udoka to fall for you. Hmm? Not with the kind of reputations you have. What are you talking about? Put yourself in her shoes. Will you fall in love with someone considered to be a liar? A deceitful person? Oh, no. Someone who causes trouble among his people. No, Ola. I'll never lie to Doka. Look, I need you. I need you to help me convince her that I truly love her from my heart. From the depths of my heart. Why don't you start by telling the youths of this village the truth? Stop the violence, Gossie. Okay. Do you know how many times your father has promised to rebuild the market that got burnt? My father has his policies. Which you support. Are you aware that Udoka's mother's toll is among those that got bought at the market? They lost everything, Gozi. That toll was their only means of livelihood. Remember, the, her only brother died of malaria just because there was no hospital. See, if your father had kept his promises, I am sure life would have been better for Udoka and the rest of us. So you see, you see why it is difficult for her to accept you or your love, no matter what you do. If you don't mind, excuse me. Something is bothering you. The rice will share with me. Uncle. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you a question? Why not? Go ahead, anything. How do you truly love someone and make her know you? I mean, understand that you love her. How you uh, how do you use this love to change the past and chart a new course for the future? <laughs> Bozier, are you in love? Okay. The point is, how do you make someone understand that you truly love her? Oh, that's simple. By making sacrifices. Proving to her that uh, her interest is paramount in all you do. That's all, nothing else. And, and do everything to make her happy? Exactly. Beckham, uh, have you met somebody you know? 
Maybe, maybe yes. Puzzle. Look, look. Love is not what you should saddle your mind with now. You should concentrate on the youth election. Winning the election will elevate your father's image in the community and make him happy. Okay? But forget about love for now. Hmm? Is your father in? He's inside, sir. Let me see. Uh, Gose, forget about love. Win the election first, okay? Okay. Love will come when it will come. Okay. and order in your community. I do. Do you pledge to ensure that your son henceforth will be law abiding? I do. Igwe, I release your son to you today on self-recognizance. Thank you, District Commissioner. You can take him away. Something is about doing it. You're right to share with me. Uncle. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you a question? Why not? Go ahead, anything. How do you truly love someone and make her know you? I mean, understand that you love her. How do you use this love to change the past and chart a new course for the future? <laughs> Gozi, are you in love? Okay. The point is, how do you make someone understand that you truly love her? Oh, that's simple. By making sacrifices. Proving to her that uh, her interest is paramount in all you do. That's all, nothing else. And, and do everything to make her happy? Exactly. Beckham, uh, have you met somebody you know? <sighs> maybe, maybe yes. Look, look. Love is not what you should saddle your mind with now. You should concentrate on the youth election. Winning the election will elevate your father's image in the community and make him happy. Okay? But forget about love for now. Hmm? Is your father in? He's inside, sir. Let me see. Uh, Gose, forget about love. We need the election first, okay? Okay. Love will come when it will come. Okay. Thank you. 
Igwe, do you pledge to maintain peace and order in your community? I do. Do you pledge to ensure that your son henceforth will be law abiding? I do. Igwe, I release your son to you today on self recognizance. Thank you, District Commissioner. You can take him away. to do. Father, we must discredit Odemba. We must puncture his bloated ego. As for Gose, I have a personal score to settle with him. Do whatever you think is necessary. I will, my father. Odemba, this thing will never happen in this village. It will never happen. Omona. Gozier and his father have been a thorn in the flesh of this community. We must not fold our arms. We must do everything possible to discredit them before the entire village. Now, I want one of you to constantly tell him. I mean, watch him. See, I need to know everything he does from sunrise to sunset. Don't worry about that. I'll personally handle it. Can you imagine it? The, the, the entire village has come to respect Odimba and Kozi, believing that the district commissioner can, cannot, can, can arrest anyone in this village, even the Igwe, but cannot touch Odimba and Kozi. Now, I want that to change. It must be changed. They must test that cell. Come rain, come shine. Exactly. We must do everything possible to discredit them so that they can live with lose confidence in them again. Uh, Gauzien! Tupu Gauzien! Please come. It's all right. It's okay. Uh -huh. Yes, please come. come. Sir, are you ready for the assignment? What assignment, sir? The youth election is around the corner. You must do all that you can to discredit your opponent and convince the people to vote for you. Convince the people with what? Father, convince them with, with further lies? <laughs> what are you talking about, son? I can't do this anymore, Papa. All we do is deceive the people by lying to them and creating chaos. At the end of the day, the people we hurt are those we love the most. And I think this has to stop. Gazir. I hope you have not been sipping from my fresh palm wine because you certainly sound drunk. No, father. I'm not drunk. Then get on with the simple assignment I gave for you. The pipe bomb water must be vandalized so that the district commissioner will reward that contract to us. You must sabotage the Mission Building School project. We must win that contract as well. No, father. I can't do this anymore. I mean, we must bring true development and progress to this community instead of making life miserable for the, for the people. Because, yeah. are you cursed? I mean, what madness has come over you? All we do is destroy the community. And this you achieve through the youths who end up losing their lives. 
Father, all this has to change. And I, Gose, will pioneer the change. Are you mad? Not mad, Papa. Gose, come back here. Gose! I said, come back here, Gose! All right. My leaking roof. They have even fed firewood and water for me. Yeah, please. See that. But you get money to pay them. No, it's free of charge. Eh? Free of charge. From who? From Adenba's son. Look at him. Gozi. Gozi. Gozi, what is the meaning of it? See, you now leave your house, go to my auntie's house to display this your act of hypocrisy and deception. Simply because you think you can you can come and use her, deceive her, cheat her. Now let me warn you. Leave her alone. Do you understand? Udoka. After this place, we'll go and practically review the burnt down local market. From there, we have three widows compound to attend to. All this we do from our hearts. Not for any deception or political reasons. We do it because of the love we have for our crown. Because of the love we have for our community. Okay? What did you just say? Did you say love for your community? <laughs> Gozie. Gozie, you make me sick. But let me tell you something. No matter how much a dark goat blends in the dark, let it not be too comfortable because very soon morning will come. Udoka! Udoka, I'm a changed person now. Look, I don't have to tell you this with my own mouth, but, but allow my jobs, my work to speak for me. Let me prove it to you and prove it to every other person in this, in this clan that I'm changed. And what I do, I do from my heart. That I assure you. That will be the day. They're going to do a really good job. Let's see how they are referring you. Don't worry, don't get annoyed. Now, when we get there, I want total mayhem, destruction. The target is Kosi. Listen. I want him to be dealt with. If he dies, I don't care. If he leaves, he will not have the guts to stand up to me anymore. I will go to jail. But I'll be released. Don't forget, my father is and shall still remain the Igwe. You promised you were going to stop all this violence. So please don't do this, please. Do this. Doka, go home. This is strictly men's affair. I've got to do what I've got to do. I mean, even when what you have to do is affecting our love, please don't do this. Love? Listen, Udoka, I don't have time for such small talks. Go home. I mean, you're calling it small talk. Go home! <laughs> <laughs> Open up! Open up! Open up! Open up! 
you go to? This gun now. To where? The first look like my and my house. Oh, uh, auntie, tell me, where did they go to? I need to see them now. Where did they go to? Is there anything wrong? Tell me now. Uh, well, I think I heard him saying something about going to repair the bond market. market. Maybe it's that. Come, come, come. Is there anything wrong? Come, Yeah. I don't want anybody to find you. Okay? Just don't confront them. Today your cop has finally become full. Obina, I don't want to fight here. Fighting will not get us anywhere. No! Fight me! No! 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 Fight me! Raise your silly hands and fight me, you shabby man! I won't fight you. I'd rather we become friends. What? For the sake of our community. Friends? Friends. Never! Friends! Never mind him! Never! We will never be friends! This is my fight, and I don't want you meddling with my affairs, complicating issues. Now go home. You don't even care about me. Did I make a mistake sharing my life with you? Did I? If that is what you say, so be it. It's time for a change. It's all up to you. Guys, let's go. about it. about his money and fame. What about people's life? What about their feelings? Don't you care? Let me ask you a simple question, son. If I should become powerless today, who do you think will take care of me? Who? 
I know that I did not give birth to a fool. Papa, haven't you made enough money? When will you ever stop? When will you ever care for people? Their lives. Don't question what I do. Then you don't question my either. How dare you raise your voice at me? You must go out there and do exactly what I asked you to do. I will only forgive this insanity for now. I'm sorry, Papa. I'm sorry. In fact, I'm withdrawing from the youth election. You are what? I'm sorry. Did I hear you? Come back here, you! Come back! Don't step out of this compound! I said, come back here! Come back here! And he's planning to rebuild the bond down market. No, okay. If Gwenwa Beze must have influenced him somehow. And he must be stopped at once. No, Chief, I don't think Igwe has any hand in this. Uh, it should be something else. He's in love. I think he's in love. What rubbish is that? He must be doing what he's doing just to impress the girl he has found. My son is giving up all I have labored for because of a girl? Mm. Chief, I have every reason to believe so. He's in love. This madness must stop. I want to know who the girl is. I want to know who sent her. I want to know who sent her and the entire family. I want to know the negative doctor that is preparing this charm for her. I cannot afford to lose all I have labored for. Never. Don't worry, Chief. I'll help you out. Please find out. Don't worry. Find out, Omoka. Find out. Very noble of you. You have uttered a fight that would have cost at least a life or two. I was proud of you. Everything I did, I did for you. What do you mean? If every youth in our community had been alive to their responsibilities, maybe you wouldn't have lost your brother. And maybe the market won't have been burnt down. Well, the father promised to build the hospital. He has also refused to rebuild the market he promised he was going to rebuild. Is that why you hate me so much? Well, yes. I mean, I was only human. Your father has disappointed the people for too long. I see. Look, I'm quitting everything. Youth leadership, the election, everything. Why? Look, I, I'm a changed person now. All I'm asking of you is to give me a chance to prove this to you. Just give me the chance. I, I promise I'll not disappoint you. All I ask is just a chance.
just don't understand, Father. I don't. I did all I could to instigate him. I pushed him, punched him, slapped him. But he did nothing. He's more of a coward than I thought. Now he's going around the entire village rendering selfless services. A mere strategy to, to, to warm his way into the people's heart. But father, he just pulled out of the election. That wouldn't mean that he and his father are not up to something. We must watch them closely. Leaving them in peace is not enough. But leaving them behind bars is better. I understand, Father, but, but... How could we send Gauzier and his father to jail when they don't accept our challenge? Leave everything in my hands, my son. Leave everything in my hands. If you say so. We are sorry, but no visitor is allowed into the palace today. I did not come to visit the palace. I only came to see Obina. And who is looking for Obina? Long live your highness. Who are you? I am, I am Udoka, daughter of late Ekechi from the Doga kindred. I do not know your father. And I will not allow you promiscuous girls knocking around here to confuse my son. It's okay, father. Udoka, I cannot see you. As you can see, I am very busy. Maybe some other time. you want, only that girl can give you. What has come over you? The realities of life, Father. True love. <laughs> love is for fools. <laughs> if you love Mama while she's alive, I'm sure you understand that love is not for fools. <laughs> Marriage has nothing to do with love. The role of a woman is to support and respect her husband. Your mother supported me and respected me. So what are we talking about? Hmm? Papa, are you aware that the substandard drugs you supply the village has killed some people? Yeah, yeah, because you never you accuse or criticize me because of that useless girl. Don't! Papa, Papa, she's not useless. She's someone I'm happy with. And I, I, I love her. It's either you come to terms with that or you leave it. Will you come back here? Come on. Come and clear this table.
Get up. Are you okay? I'm fine. Welcome. Are you crying? No. I guess it's the it's the pepper. You know. Oh, okay. I I thought you were crying. Um, I, I was just passing by, then I decided to look you up. That's very nice of you. Thank you. Are you sure you are okay? I said I'm fine. Yeah. Udo. Udo. I... I got this for you. Glad you appreciate it. What do you mean that you feel something for him and you are beginning to see him differently? See, let me tell you, Doka. As far as I, Olama is concerned, hmm? Gozier is a tyrant and a son of a mischievous hypocrite. But I think the hypocrite here is Obina, who thinks of nothing but himself alone and his selfish ambitions. What about Gozier? Hmm? Because he made a lot of sacrifices for me. He gave up what meant so much for him just to show me how much he loves me. I still believe because he behaves more maturely and more, more responsibly than he now. See, let me tell you. Because he could be doing this for a purpose. And you know that. I think this purpose is just to prove to me how much he cares about me. I mean, because he cares about the way I feel. Mm -hmm. This is something Obina has never ever done before. Udoka, you and Obina have been together for some time now. So what is this? What are you talking about? I just realized that Obina and I were not together. I mean, it was like I was I was forcing myself on him. I mean, but because he has always been there for me. He was coming around me, trying to show me that he loves me, seeking for my attention. He seems to be a totally different person from the Gozier we used to know. He even went as far as giving up his ambition just to show me that he cares about me. Udoka. Udoka. Do you feel the same way about him? Hmm?
decided to wait. Your mother is not around? No, she she went to visit my grandmother. She'll be back in two weeks' time. Oh, I see. Okay. I see. Mm. Well, I brought some things I thought you would like. And, um, I don't know. Take a look. Yes. Uh. Come along. They are beautiful. They are fine. You can keep them. They are yours. Why? Why? Because I want you to leave my son Gozier alone. I am ready to pay some money as well. Just stay away from my son Gozier. But now Uh, young lady. Gozier is not your type. He has on his shoulders the dreams, hopes, and aspirations of our kindred. You are coming into his life as derailed him completely. He doesn't even know what he's doing anymore. But Nai, I don't understand why you're telling me all ah. this. I have never asked Gozier not to do what he, he wants to do. I am sure you don't know what you are doing or what I am capable of. That's why I am being friendly. Just stay away from Gozier. Do you hear me? Moreover, young lady, we, his elders, have not decided on when he will get married or who he will get married to. And when we do so, it is certainly not going to be you. Certainly not. Can be you. I'm advising you to stop using whatever charms you are applying on him that is confusing him. Me? Using charms on Gozier? What else could it be? You are the only one he talks about. He only stays home and he doesn't listen to me anymore. All because of you. Um. On a very, very serious note, we would want an end to this relationship. We want Gozé to be focused on his future. He withdrew from youth election because of you. Now name your price. I beg your pardon? How much do you want me to pay you so that you stay away from my son? Your price. Name me your price. How much? You are not fucking. We have told you. We are not going to tell you again. Let's go. You can keep these gifts. Uh, well, to believe a word is an all for the wise.
Joker. to your mind such that you can no longer greet to your father? I said, what did you tell Udoka? I told her the truth, just like I am telling you now. This rubbish must stop. What rubbish? That I'm capable of robbing someone or that I'm, 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 I'm being of good use to my community. Uh, That's rubbish. Gose, Gose, you are only disgracing yourself. Do you know whom you are? Son of the counselor. I don't care if he's the village oracle himself. Watch your tongue, young man. My father better to watch his behaviors because he's beginning to step on my personal and private life. Look at this idiot. Just listen to yourself talking about life. Gozier, I put food on your table. Plot and shelter you. We don't live in our own house just like others. And now here you are treated like a prince. And you are here talking about life. What life are you talking about? You don't have any, except the one I gave you. Fine. Then I'll go and get mine. I'll go and struggle for my own life. Enough of your dictates. All because of who? That insignificant cockroach? Father, that is the girl I intend to marry. Okay? Over my dead body. Then so be it. You listen. You either go out there and uh, do that election, or I'll disown you. You already disown me by teaching me evil politics and bad leadership. Terrible. Uh, Gose, Gose, wait. Gose, wait. She fools this girl of the fault. Unoka, Unoka. No lion gives birth to a sheep. That boy is a disgrace to my family. Let him go. I don't need him. Uh, Chief, both of you can talk this over. Chief, yes. let him go. Both of you can talk this over. Kosi, she's here. Kosi. Ah, Udo. What happened? Do I uh, sit down? Please sit down. What happened? My father threw me out. What? See, I, 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 don't, I, I don't like the way he spoke to you. Because he, you mean you fell out with your father because of me? It's nothing, Adoka. It's nothing. It's for a good cause. 
At least I'm my own man now. Hey, Goze, you'll excuse me. Let me go in and prepare food. All right, go. Yes. Goze, I don't agree with you. Really, you, you have to go back to your father. People will start thinking I came into your life to cause problems between you and your family. There's nothing like that. I mean, you're coming into my life, got rid of all the evil in me. If my father is a part of that evil, so be it. So what do you intend to do now? Well, I've never been afraid to become a man. I'll, I'll still stay here with Argo till, till I'm able to find a place of my own. Okay. If you say so, I will, I will always cook food and you know, bring you something to eat here every day. Thank you. Because you... I'm really sorry that you had to go through all this because of me. Oh, come on. It's all right, Udo. It's all... I'll be fine. I'm more concerned about you. I love you so much. And nothing will ever come between us. Search every house and kitchen. Search everywhere. Arrests 
Any young man you see, move with the gut. No! Yes, sir! Officer, what is the problem? Some of my men were ambushed, and their guns collected from them. One of them even died in the process. Hey. We will stop. We will stop at nothing to get the culprits. Hey. This has to stop. Who must have done such a thing? Never again. Never again. I'm not allow it. Did you carry out the assignment as we planned it? Yes, father. The district officer and his men are already in the village carrying out a house-to-house -house search. Uh, father, as for the guns, they are already resting in Odimba's residence. Very soon, Gozi and his father will rot in jail. Good! Very good! Very soon, father, total control of the village will soon return to our hands. Look, my father this year Yes, will me. be a day after Odimba and his son are hanged. <laughs> <laughs> Father, I, I'm really proud to be your son. Gozi, I wonder what is keeping Agu from bringing the pepper scenes. Oh man, I'm tired though. Ah, I'm even losing appetite. Gozi? Mm -hmm. uh -uh. uh -uh. Who has not yet come back? Gozi! Gozi! Ah, what, what is what it? What is the Gozi! There's trouble in the village. What trouble? Did you send any group to confront the district police officers? No. But why should I? The district officer and the district policeman are in the village searching from house to house. From house to house? Uh -uh. For what? Three of their men were ambushed and one of them was killed. Their guns were stolen. Oh my god, this is insanity. I, I, I hope none of our men is involved in this act. I don't think so. This will bring serious trouble from the district officer. I think your father is up to something. My hey. father? Yes. I saw Obina and his men as they left your father's compound. Obina and his men in my father's compound? With my father? No, I didn't see your father. But I'm sure I saw Obina and his men. I'm sure I saw them. Gozi. Gozi. Gozi, you have to go and see your father. I mean, to be sure there is nothing wrong with him. Why should I? Gozi, after all, he disowned me. Come on, Gozi, what if they have attacked your father? Yes, you have to go and be sure. Yes, Gozi, especially now that you're not in the house anymore. He should have thought of that before he disowned me. Gozi. Gozi, you amaze me. I know you are a forgiving person, which is what attracted me to you. So please, go and see your father. Because you, you, you know how violent to be now can get sometimes. You have to be sure they have not attacked him. You're the only person at home. Because you please now go, go and see your father. Because huh? you please. Okay, do it for me, please. Please, because you.
no sign of any pen. So, what, what, did you, what did you see? No, no sign of anything at all. I don't think anything happened. Oh, come, let's go. 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 Let's
saving you and I from jail today. Mm -hmm. She deserves it. Thank you, Wanda. My daughter, I am sorry. I was sorry. wrong about you and said cruel and unprintable things to you. Please, I am sorry. It's so unfortunate we did not appreciate the depth of love you had for each other. Mm -hmm. But we just want you to accept our heartfelt apologies. We are very, very sorry. It's all right, sir. I quite understand the situation. I bear no grudges against you. Oh, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. it's good of you. Thank you very much for not bearing grudges against me, my daughter. I did not invite both of you only to apologize for my behavior. But um, I want to assure both of you that uh, by the grace of God, I am today a changed man. Completely changed. In fact, your father has decided to personally rebuild the box market. Wow. Build a community hospital. That's right. And a grammar school. <laughs> the thief. I'm part of all that. That's a good plan now. Yes, let me use this opportunity to welcome you to my house. Thank you, yes. sir. And let me assure both of you that um, I will spend nothing in making your wedding the most memorable one. <laughs> yeah, I've asked all the ladies, Thank you very Congratulations, okay? <laughs>
Don't worry. Your wedding is going to be top of the time. Your wedding is going to be top of the time. Don't worry.